Today we are going to learn all about finding resources on your topic. Once you've brainstormed keywords, you are going to have to investigate where to search for materials on your topic. The library has access to tens of thousands of online journals, books, and databases, as well as over a million print journals, books, and other physical resources. On the open web, there are lots of great free resources like digital archives, government documents, and open access scholarly journals and ebooks. Figuring out where the best places to search for resources on your topic before you start searching will save you a lot of time in the long run and make sure you are conversing with other scholars who are working on the same concepts. First, it is best to determine what types of sources you are looking for. There are many different types of sources and formats. Start by looking at your assignment. Does your instructor require a specific type or number of resources? Some assignments require you to find a specific number of peer-reviewed articles, or use newspaper articles, a scholarly book, or statistical data. Others have no requirements at all other than to use adequate sources to demonstrate your research. Next, think about your topic. Your topic will have a significant impact on the types of resources you can find. If you are researching food cart pods in Portland, you may struggle to find scholarly works that speak to that exact topic. You will certainly find newspaper articles, but remember, they are not peer-reviewed. In this case, you're going to want to think a little more broadly about your topic. Maybe you can find peer-reviewed articles on food trucks or food carts in Portland. And to really get at the topic, think even more broadly, using the library catalog search, Look for scholarly works on food trucks more generally, and then see if you can apply this to Portland. Maybe you will find data and articles about the growth of food carts nationwide that will be quite useful. And remember, it is often a great idea to start with a broad search to allow you to find really pertinent resources that you might not have come across with a narrow search and scope. The keywords you brainstorm from your topic should be really helpful with this. When researching a topic that compares two things or ideas, you may not be able to find an article or book that directly compares The Awakening with Madame Bovary, but you certainly will find plenty of resources on each book, and then you can do the analysis and comparison yourself. So what happens if you are researching an event that occurred within the past year or so? Because peer-reviewed articles take a long time to be researched, written, and published, they are probably not going to be present yet for this topic. So what do you do? Academic books can take even longer, so they may also be out. Newspaper articles, popular magazines, blog posts, and websites may very well be the only places to find information on the event. Between the library search and open web resources discussed earlier, you will be able to get to these resources. And once you do, look for broader themes surrounding the event. And just as with our food cart search, increase the scope of your search and find peer-reviewed articles that address the themes, not just the event itself. In order to maximize your research, it's best to think broadly about who might be writing about your topic. Most topics are covered and researched by more than one discipline. For example, think about the many different fields the topic impact of gender on salary expectations might touch on. Sociology, public policy, psychology, women's studies, business, and law, to name just a few. Each of these disciplines will look at the topic through a different lens, and while you don't need to search for resources in all these fields, it's a great idea to think about these differing perspectives. As you are thinking about which disciplines might be best for answering your particular research question, you'll want to start looking for resources specifically geared towards them. The best place to start are the library subject guides. Librarians create these guides, which point users towards subject-specific resources, databases, and searching concepts. In addition to searching the library catalog for resources, the library also has a good number of multidisciplinary databases. These databases will allow you to search for articles that the library may not have direct access to, but that you can request via interlibrary loan. Both Academic Search Premier and Google Scholar can be great places to search on a variety of topics. Always remember that your first stop when looking for resources, though, is the library catalog. And when in doubt, ask a librarian.